हेलो माई सोल फैमिली हाउ आर यू ऑल एंड आई होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट वंडरफुल अमेजिंग से वेर एवर यू आर इन दी वर्ल्ड आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माई चैनल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर लाइकिंग शेयरिंग एंड सब्सक्राइबिंग टू द चैनल फॉर गिविंग मी लॉट्स ऑफ लव एंड लेट स्टार्ट टू डेज वीडियो एंड फॉर दूज हु हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब ये टू द चैनल दैन प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल ओके एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टेल मी एनी थिंग सो लेट स्टार्ट टू डेज वीडियो एंड दिस इज द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द सीरीज विच वी आर डूइंग इट एंड दिस इज पार्ट नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर ओके एंड इन द प्रीवियस पार्ट विच वॉज पार्ट नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री वी गेट टू नो हाउ द फ्लड हैपन ओके and in atlantis in which uh, the thought enki group okay of brua they got tricked by the same jose luciferian anunnakis okay and they were this was done to wipe out the nohasa jehovan anunnaki who were in nohasa atlantis okay the jehovan anun anumelches they the, the ones who were putting resistance uh, towards the thought enki groups to wipe them out it was done okay so the in that flood when the flood was going to happen okay one of the most interesting things about the moses and the flood was that before the flood was going to take place enoch know about it enoch knew about it as he found out but he did not tell the thought enki groups but enoch had a special place in his heart for the nohas jehovian anunnakis or the uran urantia groups as he was commissioned for this particular group for the biorigenesis program so enoch warned them they built a boat okay they built a boat but it was not an ark they built a boat so they could travel from where they were in what's now bermuda island areas they were in nohasa atlantis they could travel from there by boat over to the african continent okay so they could get to the egypt the great pyramid where the ark of the covenant comes down because enoch was all you know enoch was going to get them into a safe house into the inner earth to wait out the flood so they could come back so they this was the ark that the noah built okay noah was a noah was the group from nohasa atlantis that enoch helped to get out you know that he was going to combine them to make a super race with the thought enki groups and to make a super anunnaki race he was part of that he was not really supposed to do that but some jose luciferians were not particularly happy about it when they found out that he did that so they built a boat use a boat by group of them and this is where you get the diameters of things that are written in bible so that was a good story to put in there and that was kind of embellished like they edited out the part that the ark that they escaped the flood in that they were in for 40 days and 40 nights was actually one of the underground safe houses that you get through by going through giza the ark of the covenant where it comes down in giza it opens into earth's uh, inner portals okay enoch took them in there and they were only on dry land but in inner earth okay other jehovan anu melchizedek cyrus a serious a dolphin people they wipe out in the flood in 9558 bc and this caused a lot of hostilities between jehovan anunnakis and anu melchizedek anunnakis okay so it created a lot of turmoil which came uh, up after the flood because as we angelic human were being resettling our communities so everybody else was resettling theirs whatever anumelchis dik they left with now enoch has preserved the nohasa jehovian anumelchis you know anumelchis dik race lines by taking that group of them down into the ark of the covenant and bringing them back into the ur the city of uh, the sumerian city of ur where everybody was going to ur so in ur there was a succession of who is going to control it now as one of the holy holdings of tribe 10 with ur 
so tribe 10 was progressively invaded raided by anunnaki groups that were coming in with their anu melchizedek's the tribe 10 were hebrew melchizedek and hebrew which is a combination of hebrew and melchizedek two cloister races which is called as bi cloister race okay so they begin invading or where it started sumerian invasion in 8900 bc 800 8900 bc okay which is called as sumerian invasion okay <clears throat> where they started settlement where one would be marduk settlements one would be samjose luciferian settlements one would be thotanki uh, settlements and they were you know then there are a few elite urantias that got through from cyrus a evacuation that they put them back and everybody did not like each other okay but they were all still aiming for the fulfillment of the luciferian covenant but after a while some of them came back together where they did not were trying to wipe out each other again okay so the thought enki groups forgave the same jose luciferian uh, Nibrun, Palladian, Anunnaki groups, but before forgiving, that proceeded, uh, that progressed in 8400 BC when one of the Marduk groups that were associated with the Necromatan races, where is uh, this is the Necromatan races, is the Necromotan, Androm Andromai, Anunnaki, the Beetle Tortoise people from Andromeda. Okay. They came in and they took over Ur and everybody scattered. So they had a bunch of them going into the desert and the thought and group went over into Egypt. Now in Egypt before that the guardians that had been over there the grey lines okay the Maji grey lines were the Ceres Egyptians okay the Ceres Egyptians from uh, are from the seeding too. They were called Ceres Essene Egyptian. They were the combination of Essene and Essene is a family line out of the Melchizedek cloister race. Okay. So, Ceres Egyptians were from seeding to grey uh, race line that had come in and merged back with the grey lines of seeding 3. They were managed to holding, you know, to hold Egypt. They were primarily holding Saqqara. Now, it's called Saqqara before it was Saqqara, Egypt. But they kept having problems with Giza as there were primarily more infiltrations and problems, you know, because there that's where the target four was. And from 25,500 BC, that's when the solar spiral has been, jack, you know, hijacked by the Nibiru. So they managed to have basic control. They were not running dynasties at that point. That was pre-dynasty kingship lines that were in Egypt before the Egyptian dynasties. The Egyptian dynasties started because the ones from the Ur that were getting kicked out by the other invaders and get dominated from Ur. They moved out over into Egypt and they invaded Ceres Egyptian race lines and took over. Okay. The first group to do that was the Thoth Enki group led by thought thought went over osiris so they started the osiris isis horus king lines but it was first Os osiris king lines because isis and horus were not the thought enki group what happened later was that there was some invasions that started to threaten the osiris family lines and the enril Enril Odicron got involved and decided to bring some of the Anu Melchizedek races into revenge Osiris' death. This is where the story comes from that Osiris was killed and chopped up into little pieces and Isis helped them, you know, put them uh, together and they created the son Horus. Okay. Horus lines were the thought Enki put back together with Enril Odicron. Auditron, Auditron, Anunnaki lines. So Horus lines were, you know, basically thought Enki groups plus en Enlil Auditron. And then somewhere along the journey of 8400 BC, we had this evolution of recombining some Jose lines got in there. So the Osiris, Isis, Horus line became what was called the Scarab Kings. After the Semjase Luciferians, 
okay got blended back into those lines this is where we get you know the scarab beetle worship stuff now the scarab kings had affiliations and this is where the beetle symbolism came from they had affiliations with marduk necromantan group that was friends with the andromeda beetle people the necromantan ones that are the men in black men in black guys in these days and age this is where the scarab worship came from as they were considered the higher ups because they had 11 strand dna coding so they were highly respected so seris egyptian has been raided repeatedly okay now you get to know like the o osiris isis horus lines they were the scarab kings the beetle symbolism after the sem jose luciferians you know blended into that group the Luci sem jose luciferians are the sem jose nibirun paladin and uh, luciferian anunnaki groups scarab kings have affiliations with marduk necromantan group and marduk necromantan group was friends with necromantan andromedi andromai anunnaki which are the andromeda beetle people okay the necromantan is beetle people andromeda also men in black now in this age okay so none of the dynastic guys originally had anything to do with gray lines later they did when the akhenaten uh, four was born so uh, the amonophis line was the magi gray lines the seris egyptian gray lines now in 7500 bc this is when they decided that they were going to take some of the races from ur some of the races from uh, egypt okay some and combine them okay they they decided that they were going to take some of the races from ur from sumer from egypt combine them the anunnaki races this was again the race of the luciferian you know covenant from atlantis deciding okay we will get along again so they decided to start combining so some of them that were still in ur okay that were under enoch's direction combining with some of them that were from egypt to strengthen the gene codes and bring more of the egyptian and hebrew gene codes okay in they were taken up into lohas area that is atlantis okay lohas atlantis which is island england area now and they raided one of our upgrades one of our upgrades is the guardian upgrades as the guardians was also doing the upgrades okay so the guardians had upgraded and regenerated the magi gray lines by combining the celtic which was the lohas gray line kings okay uh, the celtic which were the lohas gray line kings with the druidic which became the druids they were the nohas gray king lines they had combined them with the seris egyptians and it also combined uh, with rama which were the hindu up, uh, lines okay so they combine they make an upgraded race lines which was seeded in stargate 11 okay the lohas atlantis now it's in england um, islands wales and scotland that's there the stargate 11 is okay that uh, at that area there was an upgraded guardian race which became uh, that was put seeded there okay and it was a combination of of uh, celtic plus druidic plus seris egyptians plus rama which was the hindu lines okay so what they did was like if luciferians luciferians decided that if they could get their hands on that gene code they would have even more power so let's raid celtic druidic races by literally raping and they force themselves into breeding situations with females and they produce children and that became what's called as knights templar lines and their hybrid line that has lot of human coding because you have consolidated human codings and the magi gray line enhancement that was done with the celtic and druidics okay and also they had bit of rama in it which was hindu lines so they picked up all sorts of coding human coding that made them more compatible with different parts of the grids okay the knights templar uh, you know line became the official luciferian line so they 
कंबाइंड अपग्रेडेड गार्जन रेस विच वॉज सीडेड इन टारगेट इलेवन प्लस लूसिफ यू नो प्लस लूसिफेर इन कमन एंड अनुना की रेसेस इज इक्वल टू नाइन्थ टेम्बलार लाइन्स विच बिकेम हाइब्रिड सुपर रेस ओके ऑफिशियल लूसिफेर इन लाइन्स दे वर द हाइब्रिड सुपर रेस एंड वॉट दे डिड विद डैम अराउंड They infiltrated them into various areas. Now, this creation took place by moving them further, Sumerian and Egypt, up into the England and Ireland areas, which is Lohas Atlantis, and then letting them kind of spread out. But then they moved a group of them back, you know, down to Ur in Sumeria, and this is where the biblical story starts when they brought them back into the Ur area. There was a still. a group of inox jehovian anunnaki okay the group of inox um, jehova urantia anumelsistics they combined them with them and they created what became the abraham line this is where abraham came from abraham was not a hebrew okay this race was a hyksos race the midianite race and the hebrews were not these peoples they can but they confuse the history to make hebrew people think that they come out of midianites okay hebrew were an ancient or uh, race one of the 12 tribes from seeding 1 and 2 so after their creation they brought them back into ur and back into the areas of egypt they try to infiltrate them into egypt but egypt was tougher because they were still had certain fractions of the scarab king lines that were went on their own and now they were following some of the necromatons that did not like these guys so there were divisions again happening and these guys are warring with with each other half of the time the marduk lines are warring with the uh, anunnaki lines that did not get involved with any anybody but the omicron so there was a group of marduk anunnaki that are just marduk anunnaki plus omicron and they do not like any of the others because as luciferians okay Luciferians, as they run the Draculian agenda, the Marduk Anunnakis, okay, they run the Draculian agenda because they are more of Draculian, okay, and they just get you know interbreed with Omicron. So they are the they are running the Draconian agenda, not the Anunnaki agenda, and the Luciferian agenda is the Anunnaki agenda, okay. so when they begin integrating them into ur and into the areas they really become more like a desert tribes wandering around in egypt in the middle east these guys infiltrated into tribe 2 part of tribe 2 where the original hebrew people because over in that area we called jerusalem now a stargate 2 connection it's not stargate 2 the full stargate 2 is at grohl point in sarusta florida but vertex 2 vertex 2 is in jerusalem okay and vertex 2 which is the primary of the seven vertex that connects directly to a, in is in jerusalem outside of it like that somewhere king solomon temple was built and that's why it was built there because it was a vortex that could be used to access the grohl point the center control point for all the grids that was over here in the united states so abraham did not come up yet through uh, because he came in later this was the race line that was started here and they were scattered some of them in jerusalem area so they were there before the exodus the exodus and the hebrews were there long before that because that was their station that's where they supposed to be as that's where the stargate thing was to guide to protect as they were protecting vortex 2 so stargate 2 could not be raided so the knights templar once went back into the middle east area and they become the medianite races the desert races okay so they carried these carried the legends of noahs because these uh, medianites were parts of that group that enoch had saved from flood so they combined the jehovin group of anunnaki with the anu group of anunnaki and they combined that with the knights templar races so they were building a gene code 
okay they were building a gene code now in 5900 bc the draculians were noticing that the anunnaki were making head way by creating a super race and they know that anunnaki tend to try to wipe out omicron draculian so it was the race for the super race so they started invading all over the place at this time okay the nibiru crystal dioptic grid which we talk about in our previous parts okay uh working the nibiru crystal dioptic working those who do not know about it just go and watch the previous parts in those parts i have discussed that what is it okay so the nibiru crystal dioptic grid working this is where we got rid of it and this is the final time when we got crystals pull out there were crystals uh, before the stone hinge where right now there is stone hinge there are stones put on here there before the stones there were crystals so crystals were put out okay pull out and we got crystals pull out and we got controlled and then uh, you know the dark fallen angelics they put them back again and pull them out and pull them back again it was this was uh, happening in our history but this was the last time we got to pull them out and we kept them out and that was the first time the standing stones were placed there so the standing st stones were placed in 5900 bc they were placed there to block the stuff coming up from inner earth and send it back that's why the uprights were across the tops so it was more just like an alignment that you could tell the stellar arrangements with it was meant to take the frequencies in those exact spots coming up from the nibiru dioptic crystal grids over in parallel send it up the rock because the rock was a conducer to run up over the top back down and the other side and send it back so it did not run the reverse code it worked as long as the uprights were on it so there were lots of war and happenings about making sure those uprights got kick off the tops of them they put up there now what has happened is that draculians were noticing okay that the anunnakis are making a head away so what they did is a group called the centaurians got involved here on the planet earth okay the centaurians are from planetary system of alpha and omega centuries okay alpha century has been raided by a group of marduk anunnaki and there is a race there called the penetor uh, the penetor that are actually part horse okay a horse like and they are part pegasi and pegasi is actually a race that was Uh, you know from uh, one of the founder races there that was of one of the founder races that has not been too involved with us here but they do exist they are highly intelligent beings just like you have cat people up there we have horse people up there too so the penetor races were the good guys but they got raided by the marduk races and this created a race they called as luciferian centaurs they are the creatures the ones where we get our mythological creatures of the half horse at the bottom and the half human esk on the top but even older than these guys were what lived over omega century so you have alpha and omega century they are both stars in alpha century system and omega century is much much more ancient race okay the omega century is much more ancient race that are just considered as centaurs so these are the blue centaurs and they are very negative race that has been involved sometimes here but most times with other raids on uh, other systems they raid on other systems during 5900 bc periods the centaurians got involved because the mardu groups from alpha centauri got it them all motivated to come in and raid things and they started to stage major raids and they were raiding india tibet russia north america so they were staging mass raids to get control of everything they wanted to first of all 
get rid of anunnaki second of all take control of that crystal grid thing the nibiru crystal diodic grid because that's pretty powerful and third of uh, third thing they want to get rid of humans so that was the objective it got so bad in that period particularly in the areas of tibet and india where the infiltration was becoming so bad that was going to decimate you know decimate the angelic human tribes there and they've just figured out how to break the security codes on the ark of the covenant box so they could get the tools out so they could use them with the nibrook dietic crystal grid they could create pole shift reestablish the grids wipe out you know wipe off here what they did not want here and start over that's what they were going to do okay that's what they were aiming for now on the ark of the covenant box there is a seal which has been put and they get to know that key code the codes to open the ark of the covenant they get to know that okay so they get to know that and in 5900 bc there was centurion wars okay the centurion wars broke out the cyrus b maharaji raised the blue human the guardians of stargate 6 from cyrus b they came in and fleet and they were star wars okay and fortunately the cyrus b maharaji races won and got rid of them and went home but their presence was still here as the anomalistic derivatives races were still here but at least it calmed down this period are recorded still part of it is written in mahabharat the mahabharat book is a sanskrit text in india and this is where the mahabharat fits this is what the time period as they said it was combined there was this time period and combined with some ancient records from uh, wars that had happened even long before and they kind of interwoven them through this into the story and that was depicted in the mahabharat which we called as mahabharata okay so they are records that give give us pieces okay so they are the guardian got the ark of the covenant box back that has been stolen with the tools in it and they recorded it recalibrated it put new seals on it so the old codes that they had broken would not work now in 3650 bc there were some mayan raids happening what are they in 3650 bc in egypt stuff was happening where the thoth enki lines and the scarab king lines were getting roasted by the marduk omicron draculian lines as the said brotherhood in egypt and this is where said teachings came in, came from they were becoming dominant and the draculians influence were getting so strong that they decided they would go and raid elsewhere so they went over into civilizations of mayans over the central america and down in that area where people down in south uh, and north america there okay because they are stargate things in that region so thought was the mayan guy quasi codel quasi codel was the thought he came over to start the infiltration because they was getting kick out of egypt basically by the draculian races so they moved this way they started that they not only raided the mayan ones they raided the aztec civilization this is where some of the brutality was coming through because the angelic human races were not brutal fighter races they could defend themselves necess- whenever the necessary but they could not rip hearts out of the people while they were alive so these are the traits that come from draculian sites from the draculian infiltration but some of uh, the thoth enki group they did some of that stuff too so the invasion starting to move from over in the central america and south america they were going down in that region some of them went up in the north america 
where we had tribes around there and there were several tribes area in the arizona area because there is vortex 1 that connects to stargate 1 so any of the vortex sites were not primary seed sites but they were sites that were once the population spread they would be one sent in to guard them so there were some of our guys in the painted desert area of arizona they had come over originally they were the tribes that had been in lemuria they got sent over that way then there were others that were from the grul point which is in florida they were actually the seminol the seminol indians they were the descendants of these guys okay so when the thought guy came over and they started raiding all the tribal people areas they all are the angelic tribal people and infiltrating different groups not all of them got infiltrated they did not wipe out okay the human presence but what they did is take over the stories our creation myths our re, you know race identity and told us we were somebody different than we were so we forget now they would not be able to do this okay now they cannot do this because this is the new activation cycle which is happening right now and in this stellar activation cycle the truth will be out and truth is out they the history is not going to repeat i can say that the history is not going to repeat itself okay we as the human guardian races are here and we all are trying our level best from we can say like from thousands or millions of years okay by incarnating again and again in this time matrix and this is a time frame when uh the divine blueprint that's the original divine blueprint of 12 strand dna that will be restored on planet earth okay so in 3470 bc this is where the languages were scrambled and we have been bambling ever since not knowing what the heck happened what has happened to our memories languages how and why we you know we all hate each other we, we why we are fighting with each other okay so all of this was really amplified in 3470 bc bc which is babylon massacre when the luciferian teams with the help of the galactic federations the galactic federation motivated this as they had left the emerald covenant at this point okay they were running the luciferian agenda and you can see them on internet with all sorts of organized team they try to get rid of several groups that were taking over in babylon area because in babylon area that was close to stargate 10 and this was an area that they wanted to make sure they had control of they were having problems with marduk groups the seth marduk groups the draculin uh, marduk anunnakis and they wanted to get rid of them and also they wanted to advance their agenda they happened to get possession of the ark of the covenant and the tools and they happened to have the key codes again now they had a small advantage during the babylon massacre as they had got control again of the ark of the covenant box by raiding and killing the temples of the gray line priest who had been guardians of it so they used the cdt plate 11 as thought enki guardians of it, like thought enki they still had the cdt plate 11 okay which they had stolen it back in atlantis they kept the cdt plate 11 all the way till 1999 okay in 1999 the cdt plate 11 was uh, back under the guardian races okay we get back so they used that cdt plate 11 they had got the shield as shield 11 which is a larger disk that can be used as an activator and they managed to use it on stargate 10 the signet shields work in a way that it can open in its own or anything below it that's how they are code it but it cannot open higher like if you have signet uh, set uh, 11 cdt plate 11 and the shield then you can open anything below it so you they use target 10 to wipe out babylon 
to get rid of the Mado groups, but they figure out, they figured they would take even further. What they did is, they temporarily collapse the magnetic grids on the planet. Not enough to make the place roll, but they created disturbances in the magnetosphere and it totally messed up certain parts of the grids in the planetary shields. What they did then was they calibrated into the Nybrook Dietic Crystal Grid, this new tested program. Now, they did not have the crystals here anymore, the upright crystals, but they had them on the Pala Earth. So that's where they programmed from. They programmed them in there, in there and the grids would still run as long as they could get these top stones off the stone hinge. So they used this technology. They would not have the power if they did not have the Ark of the Covenant box because here is the connection. The connection is between the CDT plates and the signet shields that go with them and the rod and staff. A human being that have the Maji gray line coding that run in a frequency of the Maharata dimension, you know, Maharata current, that dimension 12 current. And the rainbow ray can hold the CDT plate in their hand and activate it, but an Anunnaki cannot, as they cannot pull in enough of the frequency from the rainbow ray. You need rainbow ray frequency. Okay, so they do not have the dimension 12 current of the Maharata running but they can stimulate it with the tools that are able to carry it as the staff has the ability to pull in the kundare portions of the kundare enough to activate the cdt plates so they can activate the cdt plate with the staff and then use that to activate the shield use that to activate the stargate activation site to activate stargates that's why everybody is hunting down this rod and staff thing. That's why our whole history is all about stealing the Ark of the Covenant box. One of them is stealing back, then we are getting again, you know, then we again take that box again from either from Draculians, then we change the codes, then again the Ark of the Covenant box is being stolen by the Anunnakis, then again we take it back and again we change the codes and hide it any other place, then again it was stolen back. So the whole history is all about who is getting the control of the Ark of the Covenant box? Because inside of that box, there is rod and stuff. Through which you can access into the inner portals of the inner earth. And through which you can enter the Ark of the Covenant. Okay. What they did was, they crashed the grids. And held the distortion in the grids using the Nibru dietic crystal grids. And they have been programming them through ever since. Okay. And this has affected our DNA template in numerous way. And has created numerous manifestations. First one is blocking the Kundalini flow. Because it block it is blocking the strands. That would allow the seals to release that has you know, um, that has atrocified certain parts of the brain. It has atrocified the pineal gland. It has made the chemical systems and hormone systems work very differently, which make the body die very young compared to what it was normally supposed to be. It has blocked the psychic senses. And this was the way that they did is that literally you you take a race with the genetic potential and take half of that genetic potential away from it. But we can bioregenerate that, you know, bioregenerate uh, that. Okay, we can bioregenerate that as that is not gone anywhere. It was broken. Okay, it was broken up into little pieces. The template was broken. Our DNA template was fragmented. The broken, the, it's, it's, it's there. Okay. That's where we see the junk DNA. That's the part of what has happened after the Babylon massacre at that point because templates were destroyed and language. Language is a function of file letter arrangement. That's the audible outside expression truly of what is contained the information and consciousness contained within the file letters of the DNA template. 
when they scrambled the dna temples uh, templates they scrambled our language patterns and they did it in a way that they held specific scramble frequency running through the grids at different angles which mean if you are running it from nibiru dietic crystal grid as that's what holding that program okay so they had lay lines that they were coding with different sets of scramble pattern which means that this person's scramble would be different than this one and this uh, race group over in this area would have a different distortion than the other group and the other one would be different uh, um, would be having a different distortion than this one group and this is how the language pattern occurred as we do not over know how to talk to each other okay they did not only gave us a mass scramble pattern also they gave us a mass scramble pattern that had a bunch of smaller scramble patterns in it so it would take a very long time before we could even figure out who we were because with this it wipe out most of our memory too anything held in strand 4 that is our heart chakra that is our fourth chakra and higher was completely cut off because you could not activate strand 4 or higher anything that was held in strand 2 or 1 part of that got knocked out of the loop they left strand 1 and 2 that is our emotional body and physical body connection only enough that it would sustain the physical form and all of this has turned us today this is why we do not remember the ancient history and this is why we do not even remember how to get into a body this time that means the fetal integration the fetal integration was supposed to be a conscious process the psychic perception that was a natural process that was also an intention set that had to do with the stellar activation cycle now that's why it's a like atlantean conspiracy whatever they had done during that time frames from that during i can say starting from that time frame till now from 9 till 1992 and still they are doing it they have been properly you know strategically planned and organized and you know doing things to make sure that all angelic humans being were totally dings you know they should be total dysfunction they should not remember who they are and what they have to do and why they are here on the planet earth then because if they will not remember anything they would not do anything why they are if you do not remember why, why you are coming here you will not do that you will you will not run you know round round table uh, rainbow round tables you will not do your dna activations you will not pull on the frequencies the time is 12 frequencies because they have planned these things in a way that if now if you go and tell these things to anyone the ones who are awaken are different ones like the there's still lot of angelic human race which are who are sleeping they are still sleeping and if you go and tell them about dna and activations and anunnakis and they have done this and that and you you are here on the planet earth to do a certain grid work or you are here on the planet earth to activate yourself or you have to activate your chakras or activate your dna strands they will say you first of all there are many categories into that also first of all the one category will say i do not even know and understand what you are talking about i do not even know who what is dna what is chakras what you are talking about we do not know because they are not uh, ever ever heard these things the other group will say we will do we are not interested in spiritual things because they think the spiritual thing is something different spiritual the concept of spiritual knowledge spiritual thing has become something related to you know yogis the ones who will leave uh, the you know uh, we call as sansar okay the world and they will go on mountains and do the jap so they are having different concept like, like the third one group will say no 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 we do not uh, we don't believe it okay you are talking about i think you are mad you you should go and consult the doctor first so they are succeeded i can say in some way 
in doing in making the human angelic races numb dysfunction but they have not completely succeeded in that because many of us are awakening and we will awaken that's why i told you before also that these things are not going to work anymore whatever they have did whatever they have done they have done it now now the time is up for them because the pendulum has to go in a certain way till a certain way but at that point it has to come back to its original form so i i hope i make you all understand so there were certain individuals what they done as like they also add one more thing in it that there were certain individual chosen that from in each group they did you know as we had basically three agenda runnings first one is draculian agenda second one is jehovian anti draculian anti other anunnaki group running from cyrus a dolphin people the third one is luciferian covenant which is unified anunnaki luciferian groups agenda so the luciferians decided they started this and then the others picked up too they select a couple of groups of humans because everybody got affected all of the anumelchistic races too and ended up scrambled to some degree and had no memory so it was reeducation time so they would create groups of chosen ones they would pick certain ones that had the correct five letters as they wanted the concentration of the ones they were looking for to run the grids and they would implant them either by physical implant or the frequency implants in the fourth strand that would manifest in the astral body and they would allow certain parts of the fourth strand to turn on a little but coded only to their matrix where they would start to get psychic perception they could start to hear the god speak this is what this was done with the objective of knowing when it came time for the stellar activation cycle uh, they would activate those people by saying them hi again and they would get them to run the grids work and this is what the new age movement in is doing so it was started back in this period in 3470 bc and this was all the all part of the plan that's why i am this is the atlantean conspiracy they just turn on all of those and the people are talking to them and they don't even realize that whom they are talking to okay so i'm stopping this video here and i hope i make you all understand sending you lots of love healing and happy energies to all my soul family take care of yourself and see you soon